middle child of three children and I was the shyest one mm -hmm. believe it uh, and my family used to sing in church gospel music and our family had a singing group my my family we were called um, the inspirational children of God and my mother wanted me to get over my shyness. So when we would go to church, she said, Denise, you have to get up, you know, and sing a song. I said, oh, no, I don't. I was always the one hiding behind my mother's skirt, you know, and always she would pull me away and say, you know, when our family would sing, Denise, you have to sing, you know, you have to sing the song. She didn't realize what she was creating, you know, but um, this was the beginning of, of singing and um, I think end up performing in a way. So um, my fam I was not unusual in the regard that um, everybody sang and has a beautiful voice and loved singing. Um, but I was the only one who later went on and started studying voice formally. And, Where and did you do that? Well, first of all, I went to a performing arts high school. I don't know if you have anything like this in Europe. It's a high school where you can major in theater, music, dance, uh, visual arts, creative writing, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I went there um, and I studied voice. So I started when I was 14 and I was in this school and I was discovering music, all kinds of music, because in my house there was only gospel music. And for the first time I heard jazz, I heard um, you know, classical music, I heard the symphony, um, I heard opera and art song, and I was <gasps> like that, you know, and it impressed itself on me, and that was the beginning. Lots of people whose names we will never know who are immensely talented. It takes um, dedication, it takes perseverance, it takes hard work all the time. It takes courage when you don't feel like doing it, when you're tired, when you're um, depressed, when you um, are discouraged. You know, it takes getting up um, and doing it. It takes um, character, you know, and I think being willing to stay in the race, you know, for a long time. Um, and then there is the business of music making, and it is that, a business. Then that begins something else, you know, of networking and getting um, to sing for the right people um, and sing, 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 sing as much as you can for everybody, for whomever will listen, you know. If you want, it, it depends. I tell my friends, if you want to just sing, you can sing very easily. If you want to make a lot of money, that's another story. If you want to be very famous, that's another story, you know. Uh, what do you want? Uh, all of the above. This stage, wherever it is that you create that, is a magnifying glass where people look through and they see you as you are, pure. And if, you, and if it's not real for you, if it's not honest for you, um, they will know that. So I think that it has to be honest first and just really come. I think the great singing, in my opinion, 
is a combination of the head and the heart, you know, of intelligent singing. But I think it's very hard to do it. You uh, said that you, you were tired of uh, karma. <laughs> I said that of that one aria that sometimes um, I'm never tired of Carmen, not ever. I am only tired if I'm working with directors or colleagues who are not courageous to explore other ways of saying the story, other ways of telling the story, that it must not only be one way and the same way. That is what bores me. That is what I think bores the public. You collaborated with some of the most famous singers and conductors oh, today. Yeah. Yeah. Amanda, who do you appreciate the most? Oh, I appreciate them all. And I mean that um, sincerely. Because uh, last night I was in Verona and I did uh, Carmen with Placido. And when you think that this man has given over 30 years to music making over 30 years. How many, how many disappointments it must have been? How much frustration? How much anger? How over all the? How many times do people tell you you can't do it? What you hear a lot, uh, people to try to break your spirit. Um, one has to have appreciation for that. Um, so I, I have a great appreciation for all of my colleagues because I know what it takes to be there. And it's just not about being in the business and making a big splash, but it's about staying there and maintaining a level of excellence. That's where I think the real work comes in. Sometimes you hear about, oh, a new soprano, new meds, or whatever, and that's wonderful. But see who stays there the longest, who maintains a level of excellence.
let me go away from the Mississippi. Let me go away from the white man, boss. Show me that stream called the River Jordan. That's the old stream that I long to. Stages, Carmen has been misunderstood. It's always the same. The woman gets the blame. She's the devil's child who leads him to no good. In fact, it's just a tale of an indecisive male, a wishy-washy man who can't pursue. without constant fear, complaints, and doubts. Time to tell this yarn from Carmen's point of view. his mother 
and she says no. Just before the sunrise, there's a moment in time when the quiet you feel allows you to remember everything that you dreamed of, everything that feels true. It is then that I think of you. Between all the words, there's a voice that is heard. It is harming a tune that you've almost forgotten. It's a song you were born with, something you always knew. It is then that I think of you. I can see all the colors, a rainbow of light. Reflecting in the sunrise But the rainbow was missing The color I need The quiet allowed me To find it Right there in your eyes When there's no sun or moon I remember the two it's a lullaby sweet, as faithful as the morning. It reminds me to do the things I most want to do. It is then that I think of you. Thank you. 
want to communicate what music, how music makes me feel. I would like to be able to really communicate that feeling of love. And I think that it is that that heals us as people, as a nation. I mean, if you go to a movie, uh, that's a movie where a feel good movie, we say in America, a feel good movie, and people leave and they're smiling and you love each other. And I think music has the same power, you know? So um, I would like to be the instrument that's used through which this incredible gift, I mean the gift of music, comes through to make other people feel. That's what I'd like to do. about hell. 